My name's Adana. Um, I popped it because you seem very tired, like an extra in Friday. Like, like Big Smokey. A woman who accused former Dodger Trevor Bauer of sexual assault has now been indicted. A woman who accused former Dodgers pitcher Trevor Bauer of sexual assault has been charged with fraud in Arizona. Damn it! Damn it. <laughs> well, I mean, I would say this in Trevor's defense. Uh oh, here you go. Because, you know, yeah, man, I, I, listen, I got I got to stand for my guys and my men. I'm a man. Yeah. Trevor's defense, I don't think that the L.A. Dodgers, because that was a team that he was pitching for at the time, should have cut him loose without everything coming well, you out. you know what? To Although them, it may be you know, embarrassing. No, yeah, because to them, it's about, their, it's about their reputation. And, and that's with a lot of them, them teams. Hey, y'all. Are you interested in starting a podcast or do you want to make podcasting easy for you? With RSS.com podcasters, you can enjoy unlimited episodes, free episode transcripts, detailed analytics, audio to video conversation, and distribution to the top podcast directories like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. So with RSS.com, you'll get everything you need to succeed. So launch a podcast for free using our affiliate code, the link is in the description. Well, I got to cut the mic, dog. When we, uh, you know, we back now. So, hey. Yeah. Man, we ain't got to do that, man. We ain't got to do that. Look. We here. We here. Yeah, we, listen, man. The first video, we were talking about uh, former MLB pitcher Trevor Bauer and the former balloon show contestant that is facing 16 years in prison. 16 years for falsely accusing multiple men of a sexual assault and extorting. Yeah, this uh, is this is obviously this woman's job. This is how she makes money. So hey, yeah, yeah. I mean, what goes she, around comes around. Yeah, listen, she's trying to get in where she fit in. Yeah, and then she about to fit in that that with that that, that eight that that, eight eight by eight cell. Is that the measurements of it? Uh, how you know? <laughs> <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> I mean, let's let peanut please. We look, we're gonna run the first video. Let's do this right now. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Oh, let's go. My name's Adana. Um, I popped it because you seem very tired, like an extra in Friday. Like, like Big Smokey. A woman who accused former Dodger Trevor Bauer of sexual assault has now been indicted. A woman who accused former Dodgers pitcher Trevor Bauer of sexual assault has been charged with fraud in Arizona. A grand jury indictment unsealed Monday accuses Darcy Adana Esmonu of fraud and theft by extortion against Bauer and another man. Esmonu sued Bauer, saying he raped her and got her pregnant in 2020. Bauer says she demanded money to terminate the pregnancy, but later said she had a miscarriage. Bauer posted a five-minute video on YouTube responding to the indictment and addressing allegations at large for the first time in months. Here's the thing. She never had an abortion because she was never even pregnant, and that's corroborated by her own medical records. When I refused to pay her the $3.6 million she was asking for, she made up a bogus sexual assault claim and filed a civil suit against me. In the countersuit, Bauer's lawyers claim she took the money for the abortion and went to Philadelphia to get LASIK eye surgery. There are women that will try and ensnare you and extort you for money. And if they uh, come out with these claims and they smear your reputation, they can destroy your career. We tried reaching out to Asmonu and her legal team, but were unsuccessful. Her next court date is next week, and she could face more than 16 years if convicted on both charges. I can imagine. Yeah, you know what? Oh, my you gosh. Know <sighs> the newscaster said they mentioned they can destroy your career. Trevor should know. Trevor, you should. Trevor should have known better. Yes. You yes. should have known better. Now I at know that, at that status, at such financial and economic and social status, where he yeah. is, he needs to be smarter with his decisions. Yeah. But hold up, before we get any further, did y'all see that Lowe's got on my color? He was in my he was in my window today when I was getting dressed. <laughs> I like it. Oh, Lord. I like what she got on. <laughs> <laughs> He's a mess. She got on black panties. I got black drawers. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but what? You know what I mean? But Trevor should have made her sign an NDA, and he 
I, I didn't hear anything about somebody wearing protection. Obviously because not. if you were if you were to wear protection, he, he wouldn't, he wouldn't that even probably thought, wouldn't have came up. Right. Because he was like, wait a minute, how are you even pregnant if I wore, you know, protection? Yeah. So obviously he didn't. So I mean, he he need to be better. He's too old for, to be making uh decisions like that. And don't get me wrong, yes, you can be in a moment, but you don't know this girl. They live off of stuff like that. They live okay. Mm-hmm. She, he was a target, obviously. From the rip. Obviously. From the rip. You know what I mean? But yeah. And listen, man, I know I know temptation get at you sometimes. Yeah. You know, yeah. You, and when you especially when you pet and hot wild. and heavy and you grinding. But first of all, this is wow. How are you gonna make some type of uh uh allegation like that? At least make sure that you got some kind of like substantiated claim. How you did pregnancy test come up negative? Don't you know that that stuff is like those medical records yeah. are everywhere now? Yeah. Anybody got access? Well, that's supposed to have access, but you're not going to sit here and go to court and say I was pregnant. You had me get an abortion and then the pregnancy test was negative. Dummy. <laughs> what, what he used to say? Big dummy. Big dummy. You big, you <laughs> you big, big dummy. dummy. <laughs> but I mean, I would say this in Trevor's defense. Oh, here you go. Because, you know, yo, man, I, I, listen, I got I got to stand for my guys and my men. I'm a man. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. In Trevor's defense. I don't think that the L.A. Dodgers, because that was a team that he was pitching for at the time, should have cut him loose without everything coming well, you out. you know what? To Although them, it may be no, embarrassing. No, yeah, because to them, it's about, their, it's about their reputation. And and that's what a lot of them them teams, um, if, if if he's going through that to them, it's going to make them, to the, the way they're thinking is that it's going to make them look bad. Yeah, yeah well... That's what they Come do. On, but some of the shit that the even, the day, even he's, those executives he's, do. He's a human. Because they do it too. He's yeah. a human. So yeah. hey, it is what it is. And I, I'm not I just I just think that it's bullshit. I mean, he was a side young pitcher. The, the motherfucker could Oh, excuse my language. I'm sorry. You know, Mama Deucey looking at Not the what? He could. He still can. He see, uh, the ball could throw. Yeah. The ball could, he could throw. Yeah. He could throw. So look, let's go to the comments. Son. All right. So comment number one from True American. This B, we're not going to use a curse word. <laughs> this B single handedly destroyed the Me Too movement. No, no. Nah, you don't think so, nah, too? Nope. Because she's Seriously. not the only one, no. Mm mm. Because she's not the only one that's, she not that's, the only one. that's falsely targeting yep. men? It's a lot. Even even men that's not of his high social status, we see it every day in these streets. Come on. In your screets. Screets. Let me let me let me <laughs> say it, it. Let me say it, you know, with the Ebonics. Yeah. Screets with a K. <laughs> you know how we say it in Philly? <laughs> screets. <laughs> yeah. And you so, three or four don't come look, here to get your lazy eyes. You got these chicks that don't want to work. Uh-huh. And let's just say they get pregnant by these guys so they can make whatever money and get whatever money from the guys and then here they are hustling and struggling to make ends meet. <sighs> So it's not it's so this, not just of that economic status. Is that's yeah. what some you got some women that just do that in general. So the Me Too movement just completely kaput. Look, you know I don't believe it. Look, I I got my own you know separate thoughts on the Me Too movement. So let's go to comment number two because we can we can go on for that one. Well, damn. <laughs> All right, comment number two. Comment number two from Duty. So Duty says she was going to pull that same scam if anybody would have picked her from that pop to right, the news show. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. And she and I'm I'm pretty sure this is what she does. Not just him. That's her thing. That guy, whoever that may looks like, they are studious and have a little bit of a couple of coins. Oh yeah, she's she going on she on their top. Oh yeah, definitely. If I'm making almost three hundred million dollars, you're gonna look better than that. I'm sorry. And I ain't like I don't like talking about nobody looks. Goddamn. <laughs> But if when you making big, when you make MLB money, look, man, you supposed to be messing with the top three hundred fours, man. I'm sorry, really, God, really, yeah. yeah. The, 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 what? Okay, you because like, I man, know, what? Look, I know you and CJ talk about how y'all be dealing with the boomer wolves or whatever y'all call them. That's because we <laughs> are low on the social economic status, goddamn. When you making three hundred million dollars. Oh. Oh, you make it what? Let me tell you, your prostitute's supposed to be looking like. Uh, but why she got you, me? Uh, well, yeah, she was definitely a prostitute. But at his financial status, you have escort services. Yeah. Professional services yeah. that you can use. So, therefore, like yeah. I said, it's no All excuse. flavors. It's no excuse. No excuse. All flavors. I'm he, talking. He, he could have done better. He could have ta- so much what? better. Butter, butter, so butter pecan, Puerto Ricans. <laughs> 
Do you want to go back to that? You know what? I ain't talking to you right now. Look, look. You know, I, know that. I, I turn my back on her. Oh, y'all. See, see, now he turning his back on me. Like, now, man, that's really? your podcast. How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> <laughs> now, hold me. Hey, listen, we got a good show for y'all tonight. Whatever. Whatever. Is it really? Really, Lowe's? <laughs> I'm just saying. She's going to go and diss me like that. I'm just saying that Trevor's what we might he's what we messing with the top. Look, I, how about you know, how about the age? How about regardless of her, of your social economic status, you social always deal with how about you always try to think top notch? Go with the top tier. Like really. Well, for one and stop dealing with as you and CJ call them booga wolves, whatever the hell they are. Well, for one, <laughs> it's hard to think like that because when you get that post nut clarity, uh, you like Damn, whatever. Did I wake up to you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up to a booga wolf. Oh 